I've just started the job of converting the dual ignition Jap engine that I'm fitting to the Onk C2 to single ignition. You might think I've taken leave of my senses at this point, and why would I do that? But the whole point is I'm saving 11 pounds of weight by having a single ignition setup. And as I'm rebuilding the airplane as a, under the SSDR microlight rules, then I really don't want any excess weight. I've got a couple of back cases here. This is an American back case for a single ignition engine. And this is a British back case for a dual ignition engine. Normally this would have the bevel gearbox. If you watch some of my other nauseating videos, you'll know that that has a gearbox bolted across it and then two magnetos. I was sent this by a friend in Scotland. It was very kind of him. He sent me the mag drive as well. Interestingly, the mag drive is actually cracked. That's why he sent it to me. It was no use to him. I think he's, well, of course, he's had to set his up with dual ignition. So he's put a Jap back plate on and a whole load of other bits. So he didn't need all this. But this is broken. Um, it's got a crack down one of the lugs. So I've been having a monkey around and sort of working out what to do. It would be very easy to fit the American back case. Um, the only thing that stops it actually fitting on at the moment is this hole is quarter inch. And the Jap has a 5 16th stud there for the bottom of the oil pump. I don't quite know what the felt seal arrangement here is. I guess it's a felt that just runs on the on the side here. And um, the, the taco drive is different thread-wise, so that would have to be changed, or I'd have to monkey around making another piece there. And the oil drain hole is different. But having sort of had a think about it, I'm not going to use that. Instead, I'm going to modify a British casing. This weighs about three ounces more than the American one, but I can easily lose a bit of weight on it. And I've got several of these, and I've got a whole box full of these mag drives, literally box full. I've got probably a dozen or so, and they never wear out, so no one's ever going to use them. So I'm going to cut this case down, I've decided. Cut that boss off there, and I'm going to cut it right down to the inside, so about half an inch off. And then I'm going to mount a lip seal in a two inch flange and screw it on there with four BA screws, countersunk screws, and I can sort of stick it down with JB Weld or anything like that, lock tight. It'll never come loose, doesn't need to. I can pop mark the screws as well so they don't want to come loose. And I'm going to make a drive using a British drive, and here we are, a bit of cardboard aided design. And if I make that flange out of something thick, that chunk of 4130 I used to make the skid would be sensible. Then I can cut a two and a quarter inch disc, I'll take a bit of hacksawing, but that's all right, and weld it to a drive at whatever position I want up there. A nice thick flange, decent weld, beveled, and all the rest of it around there into a lip seal. I might just, well, I'll fill that extra little bit in there, maybe with some silver solder or even JB Weld, anything that will run on the seal, all right, and that will do the job nicely. I just don't like this arrangement. It's weak need. Going to one magneto is a bit like sort of playing Russian roulette um, and actually having a, having a bullet in the chamber, but actually having a, a mag drive that's known to crack and uh, sort of has a known fail mode is like um, playing Russian roulette with Put two, two loaded chambers. I think it's a bit bloody silly myself. So that's what I'm going to do. Of course it's at moments like this you wonder what Alan Milliard would do and he'd get out his hacksaw. So that's what I'm going to do. That's cut through and uh, 
I'm pretty happy with that actually, not far off at all. I'm just going to file that face so it's flat. But there's a, I'll give this a little bit of a clean up. There's a lip there that I didn't want to go into and I've missed it by about, well, 20 thou, half a millimetre. That's pretty flat too. So I'm just going to clean this bit up here and just with a file and file the face flat and then I'll just go and try it on the surface plate next door with my vernier um, measuring device and see how flat I've got it. A bit of sort of feel in from each side. Doesn't need to be perfect because of course I'm just going to screw a plate on there with a the lip seal in. But it'd be nice if it's fairly flat, partly just because it's nice to do a job properly rather than balls it up. So let's clean that clean that up first. There we are, public service duty of mine. Wine bottle corks make most excellent file handles. Top tip. That's actually worked out really well, and even without measuring it, it's uh, squarer than Keir Starmer, so uh, it really is very square and flat. I'm just going to go and clean it off outside, because this is actually the back case off the engine, that's what's got a bit of gasket stuck to it. Um, it's the one that was holding on the dual magnetos before. I'm just go and give it a quick, uh, quick clean off outside, because I want to try it on the engine, and I don't want any swarf or bits of aluminium to get all over the timing gears etc. So back in a moment. I've bolted the back plate back on the crankcase and interestingly I put the little broken mag drive in there and it doesn't quite reach the lugs on the magneto so the magnetos are slightly too far back. With my lip seal arrangement, I'm going to have to move the magneto back about another or well, eighth to a quarter of an inch, which means slotting the holes. That's not a problem. I, I can do that. And of course, I could pin the magneto from underneath with a couple of dowels, just so when it's actually dropped in place, it only goes exactly in one position. A couple of eighth inch dowels would do nicely. Very easy solution. I am going to clean that face off a little bit more. I'm going to try a milling end cutter. I don't have a milling machine. I'm just going to try one in my drill and see if I can't just face it off another sixteenth or something in very light cuts or I'll file it back because a little bit more space would actually help magnificently. <sighs> That's worked to treat very light cuts with a mill. I mean, it's pretty silly and slightly dangerous doing uh, end milling with a drilling machine unless you take the lightest of cuts and wear gloves and be just really careful. But with with care, get quite a nice job. I've just filed it as well just to sort of get rid of the milling cutter marks just with a fine file. Tidied this bit up a bit. I've also drilled it for lightness. Colin Chapman would approve, but every little bit helps. I offset the hole a little bit because of course I'm going to slot these so the mag can go back a quarter or an eighth of an inch or, or thereabouts in a little while. So the next job is to cut out an aluminium disc to take the lip seal which will be screwed on there. Maybe like you, I never throw anything away. So I found this aluminium blanking plate in my box of aluminium offcuts. I stuck a 
hole saw through the middle of it, so inch and a quarter. It's going to be inch and a half when it's finished for the seal. I'll now stick it in the lathe and turn the outside down to two and a quarter. <laughs> Well, that's the ring for the seal completed and I had to put a flat on it so it would miss the oil um, feed to the crankshaft which is this thing here they're sort of near neighbours I just wanted to make sure that fitted which it does that's the bit that goes into the crankshaft runs in a sort of bronze bush and um, feeds oil straight from the pump to the big end bearings anyway this is bored exactly an inch and a half to the nearest thou the seal I've ordered is inch and a half outside diameter so it should fit straight in but I'm not going to stick this down until I've actually got the seal and fitted it in case I've made a bit of a balls. I will drill and tap it there, there, there and there. I had a dig around in my box of things stolen from the Ministry of Defence years ago and got quite a lot of nice 4BA countersunk screws which I'm going to use to fix it down with but without gun Joe. So time to drill some holes. Well, that's the case done. I'm very pleased with that, it's nice and concentric. Obviously it needs to be taken off and just stuck down once the seal is in, but apart from that it's complete. I'm gonna stop there. You probably want a large glass of laudanum and I need to get my hacksaw out and cut out a big chunk of 4130 for this. So I'll see you again in a few days. Thanks for watching.